Well, looks like our news came out, and uh, we're going to go play with a four-hour moving average instead of finding nice direct support off of this. However, there's a reason why our stop is way down here, because there's other several things that uh, traders could be buying. Right now, we've got the unfortunate situation of this thing looking like it's curling over, but this is such a sideways pattern, it's really hard. Uh, to make any big uh, judgments based off of what's happening right now. We could easily find some support here and come right back up again. Or we could break down. Let's we'll just wait and see. Let's see if we're switching this thing back. Yeah, that's, that's, so far that's what we're doing. Well, if we find support right in here, then they don't tag our stop. Then that's why we risked a 25 pips or so, so that we can make uh, 70-75. Because if you uh, tried to hide onto these guys, well, it's not always pretty, and sometimes you just you just get whacked if you try to keep it that close. And we'll see. Maybe maybe this is the end of the end. I didn't see what the news actually was, but it can always be a burst of bad news, and then well, we it goes right into buyers. So we'll see. That's monetary policy meeting minutes, so let's see what they said. Well, I'm not going to go through and read the whole story right now. Obviously, the initial burst is is uh, bad news, so let's sell the Aussie. Uh, and we are getting some longer-range bear couple of longer range bear bars here but what we really got to pay attention to is we're bouncing up against this and down here is the bottom of, of our range now hopefully we continue this nice pattern of higher lows and this will be as low as we get uh, if not then we might get bumped out which that's what stops are for because if we get bumped out then uh, there's really probably nothing to hold this thing up until well these lows and then we could definitely test them again do something like go down here nothing to do but wait and see so rather than stare at that and get all crazy about it and let it do its thing uh, let's look at uh, E mini it looks like we might I might have been stopped out oh they missed me by one tick <laughs> well I'm still alive well we'll see all right uh, what's next yin it's the same do, doing the same old thing leave it alone don't crowd it it's a nice four hour trade hopefully we'll get some uh, good action out of that to the upside in a day or so Canada found, still finding its support right there on the median. Nothing new to report there. Why don't we take a look at gold, it's just for the fun of it. Not that I ever had fun trading gold, but... <laughs> um, yeah, let me just delete all this stuff. Four-hour chart of gold. Well, we did come up and we took this out, these November, October highs. Big, The big thing is up here. We look at the daily, and I really should redraw this daily. This is getting, this is getting kind of silly. If we look at the daily. Um, let me put on my. Whoa, that's interesting. All right. <laughs> Let's try that again. Uh, okay, Ensign's being weird. Anyways. Uh, let's just delete all that and we'll go drawing. We don't need any moving averages and things on there right now while we're starting to draw it anyways. Um, this is not even a swing high because we never took this out. Now, that doesn't mean this can't be, you know, a double bottom type thing, but technically this is a pseudo swing high and not a real one. But a real swing high is up here. And you never know how these little rangy things are going to work out. Yeah, it's interesting that we bounced right off that lower median line parallel. Maybe we'll go up. We will go up here. 
or we could go right through. Uh, it's really pretty much sideways right now, but you know, we since we broke down out of this great big consolidation thing. I'd be a little bit more bearish than bullish. I mean, we could certainly go up and test the bottom of this range again, and maybe that's the end of uh, of all this sideways business and gold takes off like all the gold bugs expect. But I'd say there's a good chance that if we did get up there, we have some real serious uh, resistance overhead. Let's see what we did with Fibonacci fun fun funness. Yeah, the one to one's gonna come in right where that pseudo swing high is. So we could really end up putting in some some more range range type trading um, over the next couple of months. Maybe this is a base and, and we'll break out of it and rock higher. Uh, if we take out some highs, then well, we'll think about that. Right now it's sideways and. Uh, slightly down because of after breaking down from from all this. Let's see. Let's draw in this. You want to see this? Yeah. Pretty beautiful, actually. Well, I'm glad I deleted all my lines so I could see that. Tag low perfectly. Hit this upper median line parallel and came off of it. We'll see whether we rock down or rock up. Um, I don't really see anything to, to do in gold, but I thought it'd be interesting to look at. All right, how does Ozzy do? Well, still messing around down there. So it looks like Spy is putting in this coil after we finish the day. Uh, we may bounce around here for a while, which kind of makes me want to change my plan on my 24-hour ES trade, but that's a bad slippery slope, so let's not, let's not go there. We can always find another trade if this one doesn't work out. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Like this cut, it seems to be retracing all this upsloping um, lines and doing switchbacks on them. You can pay attention to the hits here and here, and the little coil action here, and of course the basing out here on the uh, warning line. Let's see what else. Oh, did you end anything interesting through there? No, it's still coiling. We can see a warning line than this. Eh. Pretty sloppy. Sideways, coily stuff. Not real exciting. Um, sometimes I look at things like Euro Odd. More just to entertain myself. Really, there's not any reason to do so now there's been plenty of opportunities on the dollar crosses without having to go into anything too more exotic yeah that was nice get some nice you know if you were a bold pioneer you could have sold there If you wanted a little bit more confirmation, you could wait for it to come back down. Lots and lots of hourly bars wicking through there. Sell anywhere there. Stop up in here. What does that look? Sold some of this. Entry. 21. Stop. Yeah. A little pricey. I guess this thing has some good range on it. That's over 50 pips. Even if you try to snug it down, that's pretty... You could do a sliding parallel uh, if you really like the trade. And to do something like that. And then maybe you would have gotten in at 33. 
and you could have had to stop at oh, 75 that's 40 pips still a little well it's an hourly chart so I guess it's not bad because what would we be looking for well our target would be probably some median line down here we draw something like this in yeah that's, that tags that beautifully nice red one in there that's, that would be a profit target so yeah uh, it's, uh, risk as far as risk risk reward goes it's just, it's just fine it just depends on whether you want to risk 40 pips or not you might like to keep it a little closer to 30 or 20 but this is an hourly chart so you can expect to get some more out of it if things are really rocking so yeah that would be a nice trade so here's here's you would have walked your exit down here I'll not stop target where's target there Your initial risk reward would have been something like this. Enter enter at 33, stop at 74, so risking 41 pips uh, to, to make about... Not quite 200. Yeah, not bad at all. And then you ended up getting even more because you got to walk this thing down the lower median line parallel. So, pretty nice, actually. Uh, and then, you know, you'll see these frequencies get reused sometimes. We march right back up here. The problem with this is, you know, you, there's really no stop. Um, you just have to, you'd have to money stop it and hope that you didn't get, you know, taken out. Like if you wanted to sell here, if you were trying to sell here, you'd have to just float your stop up here somewhere or use a disaster stop, but that's generally not a good idea for people that are beginning to trade uh, it's often not a good idea for me I still lose control on that sometimes uh, then but then where were you to, where would your profit target have been then well we probably you could go down here to look for more lower lows but you could also be more conservative and just play I'm gonna try for something like that, and they wouldn't, they wouldn't have filled you. Obviously, didn't get down there. Um, may do those, but just it started rocking back up pretty quickly. So unless you were willing to stick with this trade uh, through all this this business, more more than likely, you know, we would have had to stop there, 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 and would have just taken some and put it in a pocket and look for another trade after, rather than live through all this. Still, uh, fairly interesting little trade there. I like that. Uh, sometimes we can just slide this channel down. Maybe we'll get another chance. One, two, three. Might, might, be, might be basing out now. Three drives down. But sometimes it's just three drives pulling back. And that's what happened this last time. I haven't seen one of these work in a while. It's, uh, I like seeing those have these work. Basically, you stick a median on your three drives. One, two, three. Well, I was going to label them, but... Vincent will cooperate. One, two, three, three drives. Connect the median, the one and three, the one and three points, and often you'll find the price runs right to the median, and then gives it up. If, if you're in this kind of downtrend, or the opposite, of course, for uh, an uptrend. I think we'll just leave that on there and see what happens. Let's get rid of this. We don't need that. It makes me think that this isn't going to hold. Maybe we will get a chance to sell here. I think we'll stick an alarm here so that it starts beeping if price actually gets up there. Let's do that. And we'll leave that there. Okay. 
Uh, still messing around. Not real happy that we sliced to this frequency so easily, and now it looks like we might be uh, switching back on this half frequency, but yeah, you just never know, especially when news comes out that's contrary to what big traders actually want to do. Sometimes big traders are just looking for an excuse to buy. This still looks like a consolidation pattern to me, but it could also turn out to be, you know, some kind of baby seat one, two, three pattern with a lower low here and that's it and we just go and roll over. That's again that's what the stop's for. And maybe we're doing something like this. It's a little sloppy. Yeah, I don't know. We're in the trade, so now's not the time to be drawing and second guessing it. Let's just follow the plan and see what happens. Because I find that most of the time, I'm when I do that, I'm right, uh, and I'll, I'll just psych myself out for no for no good reason. All right. Well, I hope the audio on this one is is pretty good. I just realized the dishwasher is going by me. That was probably pretty noisy. We'll. Uh, Take a look at this recording, see whether it's worth saving. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.